Why are you people criticizing an anointed man of God? A man ordained by God. You guys are criticizing him. Pastor Oyedekbo, who recently celebrated his 70th birthday yesterday, got an exclusive, highly placed gift. Two, not one, two Rolls Royce Colina 2023 model. White, apparently worth more than 1.5 billion naira for his birthday celebration. We do not know the members who donated it or if it was Oyedekbo that gifted himself those two exquisite cars for his birthday bash. But why are Nigerians criticizing a well-ordained man of God? Why are Nigeria criticizing him? You are not the fear. A general overseer. You are not the fear. When they criticize a man that can speak fire, a man that a, a talk na do, a man that will say, God, place calls on all those people, and yes, he's going to do it. When they criticize him, because he received or he bought himself two Rolls Royce, Colina, specially made. For few percent of the world, not be everybody fear for that more. Few percentage of the world. Is that why you people are criticizing him? Well, Twitter is going crazy. As at yesterday, up to this day, Twitter is going crazy about such gift. Marking his 70th birthday, receiving two white Rolls Royce Colina 2023 model. Specific and highly customized. So it's more than the regular price. It's more than the regular price. You might have a regular uh, Colina, but when it's customized, you know it costs a little bit more. More than the regular price. Well. Wow. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to read you a few of uh, the tweets that I saw. But firstly, let me just break it down for you. Some Nigerians are not happy because they believe a pastor should imitate that person they are serving. For instance, Jesus Christ. A pastor should live like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ had no property. No property was ever recorded that Jesus Christ owned. In fact, Jesus Christ had no home he stays. He moves around. He moves around. So, the human beings of now want pastors to still do the same thing Jesus Christ did. Because after all, being a Christian is living as Christ. Trying to be perfect as Christ. That is what Christianity means. Christ-like. That was it means. So they expect Pastor Oyedepo and Pastor and other pastors in Nigeria shouldn't fancy all those uh, luxury items. In fact, they shouldn't fancy anything that has to do with luxury. If it's possible for them to trek, let them trek. If it's possible to for for them to ride the bike, let them ride the bike. If it's possible for them not to have an account, let them not have an, an account. Let them give everything out. If they donate to them, you carry it and give to the needy. That is what this world want pastors to do. Christ-like. <laughs> but fortunately, all those pastors don't send you that papa. Oh. <laughs> they don't come this life, come suffer for you. <laughs> they come to preach, preach the word of God. But that doesn't mean they shouldn't enjoy themselves as well. <laughs> yeah? So, uh, Danny said, congratulations, David Oyedepo, on your new 1.5 billion Naira Rolls Royce, Colina. I urge members of Winnie Chapel to pray harder to tap into this because what God cannot do does not exist. Make sure to double your tithe, dears. 
Because Rolls Royce is not easy to maintain. We don't want our daddy stranded. That's coming from uh, Dan Rega. Uh, uh, Danny. Dan Rega said, the money used in gifting Bishop Oyedepo a Rolls Royce car should have been channeled into projects that benefit the masses in this difficult time. It doesn't sit well with me considering the fact that many are starving and struggling to make hand meet right now. Even in the church, men of God had to live in a simple and modest way, reflecting what it is often being preached. That's coming from uh, Dan Erega. You know, live a simple and simple and easy life, reflecting what you are preaching. Then, someone said, when it comes to men of God, you Lord find problem with gifting them or living a better life. If it was given to any celebrity, you Lord will hype it up. Think about your life and leave whom the gift. And leave whom they gift alone. That guy is quite right though. We have had so many celebrities here, they don't gift, and yet with their happy, they hype them. But we have also seen such, so many celebrities too, receiving, receiving gift, and also donating it. We don't need an audio donate to or a read donate to, and no one talk about that one. But we have seen celebrities receiving gift, and also carrying that gift, adding money on top of that gift, and donate it to the masses. So we have also seen that as well. Then this guy said, people will come to defend him, that is a gift. He should have rejected it and asked the people to do, to use the money to take care of their church members. He has too many luxuries to accept. When his people are suffering, a true leader can do better. We have seen Pope receiving a Lamborghini as gift and immediately donated it out. So do you want... Pastor Yedepo, to reject the gift of God? Do you want Pastor Yedepo to have rejected it and given, given it out to somebody, to the needy? The pastor need it. The pastor need those private jets. Those pastors need that uh, luxury car. They need those armored car. They need them. Yeah, a pastor cannot leave his house. About to meet up with a eight, eight o'clock money mass. And his house is like four hours away with traffic. And you want him to trek all the way from that place to your house. He needs security. He needs armor just in case. Some devilish people are trying to buy him. He needs security, he needs all those things to protect himself. After all, God said, love yourself first before I we start doing. Help yourself first. Help yourself first. So they need it all. They need those expensive things to move around. They need all those stuff to assist them to move around. They need the security. If you even see him coming, you see the heavy security, gas running. They need it. They need it. Because they cannot get to that mass and preach without those security. They will be blocked. And Holy Spirit cannot uh, uh, pave the way for them to get to that church. Then this guy said, I only have one question. What for? With all these he has acquired, why some members are dying of hunger or health and needs this money? Well, lastly, everyone, run your heavenly race as you deem fit. Then this guy said, the money used to buy Bishop Oyedek Boy Rosewood could have helped people in need, especially since many are struggling right now. 
Religious leaders should live simple and show the value they preach. Those who give him the gift should be locked into, should be looked into, ensure proper use of church funds. The need of the congregation should come first. Then lastly, this guy said, you are right. Our good Lord gave out all he had, even the gift, but man and God. The greed for material things must always show. But the thing is that we are the one confusing ourselves. We start seeing men are, are like God. Men can never be perfect. The greed is there. It's about time you stop deceiving yourself. And looking some men as the most holy thing you have ever seen. No. The greed will always be there. Money is the root of all evils. Money is the root of all evils. Hmm? Money is the root. But some, some will say women. Women, but me, I don't have money. Sometimes I, I, I don't get money, woman will freak me out. Now money be the root of all evil. Hmm? Well, guys, allow Pastor Ojedekbo to enjoy him day. Stop dragging him on Twitter. You understand? Eh? Stop deceiving yourself. Have a wonderful day, guys. Catch you next time.